Breaking news, as Warner Brothers has told us that they're stuck with Iron Aquaman 2, not that they want to keep them on. They're stuck with them on Aquaman 2, which means they expect this to flop, because even though the head of Warner Bros, the big boss themselves, has demanded there be changes, they can't have those changes. See, right now, the boss budget for this movie is $205 million over production. I mean, that is a staggering amount of money that is already invested in it. They would need to invest more to remove off from this. And again, removing there is still not going to net them the money that they need to make this thing succeed. So they are telling you, hey, we expect this to fail. We think that this is going to impact everything going forward. The message in this is loud and clear. Now, this explains a lot of current moves, too, like the talk about scrapping the Aquaman franchise, moving forward to number three, removing Jason Momoa and more. You and I, we're going to talk about all of this and so much more today. Crazy times. Crazy times indeed. All right, so, hey there. While you find folks on this fine day, by the way, I hope you're doing excellently. Man, when you read between the lines on what's going on at Warner Bros, right now with Aquaman 2 and with other things, you can see a company that is paying. They know. Aquaman 2 is in a lot of trouble. They know it's going to cost money to try to fix this. Why? Because you got to remove the problem. They know exactly who the problem is. But unfortunately for them, they can't fix this problem right now. Why? They don't have the money to do so. I mean, that's crazy. Right now the mainstream media knows exactly what this means to they know exactly what caused it. They know exactly what it means for the movie and the franchise. But places like Variety, the ones that broke this, they are huge. I shield so they don't tell you that in the title now. But when you get into the article itself, and this is buried at the end of the article, number one, you find out who's making these demands. This isn't some small fry at the company either. This is Warner Brothers co-chief themselves stepping in. They're telling Aquaman 2 director James Wan that he's going to have to shut down this vending. He's going to have to reduce that reshoot budget for the Maritime sequel, which is ballooned to over $205 million over production. I want you to think about this too. If you spend $205 million here, plus you usually double that for advertisement, it's going to take $800 million to try to break even. Now, Warner Bros has all but told you that they know that there is a problem too, and a big problem at that. I mean, they pushed this movie back all the way to December 2023. They've tried to distance any headlines at all from or they try not to talk about the movie and they want to reshoots. The problem was, and you could tell that this was going to be an issue that kept bringing up screeners old material that told you they were trying to cost save there. And now, well, listen to this. This is where they get stuck with R. Uh, a few weeks ago, the new management of Warner Bros made a call to director James Wan to tell him that the budget he originally had for those famous reshoots and he announced this on Instagram. By the way, it's verified by him that those were coming. But that budget is going to be reduced and reduced significantly. This is in new accordance with the new management that is putting order and reviewing costs of their projects. So many of the scenes that were going to be reshot, that included supposedly all were eight ship here, was going to be replaced outright. How is she going to be replaced? Don't really know. But those can no longer be carried out according to the information from Variety. The current financial restrictions at WB, they could benefit all, not in the long run. Again, this is going to cost them the franchise itself. But in the immediate, she still stays in the movie as all the scenes she filmed would make it into the new film here, which is scheduled for December 2023.